Hi, this is Mike, the Philosopher Engineer. Well, I'm back from California. I had a great trip to California, a little bit of vacation, and also a busy time with new business. And we're, at, we're in July, July 21st, 2020. Things are still kind of strange, but you might recall that I said prepare for growth. Well, we're starting to see some of that growth. What I want to pick now is a theme for July. Uh, I'll try to get back to videos, but um, you know things are getting busier, and I'm, I'm happy to see that. And I, I'd like the focus to be exceptional. Now, I have a little story to share. A number of years back, I was helping a company with a very important medical device, and we were doing an assessment to see how that project was going and what they wanted to accomplish. And I met with the executive team, and I had a good conversation with the, with the vice president of manufacturing. And I asked him, what, what are you really looking for in this project? What, what, is, what would you consider a success? And he said, I just need the product to be reliable, usable, and manufacturable. And I thought about that a bit, and of course that makes a lot of sense. We also want to go faster. They're in a hurry to get the product out. So we have a need for speed. So I came up with a, a little acronym uh, called Exceptional RUM. And that stands for Exceptional Levels of Reliability, Usability, and Manufacturability. That's a great goal. That's a great product. But we also want to go faster. And so we, we talk about um, the GROG principle. I think I've shared this before. GROG, G-R-O-G, uh, well that stands for getting rid of guessing. The whole process of going faster is to not guess and get in a trial and error loop, but to do the engineering, to use the math, to use the tools that are available. And of course there will be iterations and refinement, but you converge much more quickly and you solve problems faster when you're proactive. In the case of engineering, being proactive means that you do the analysis and you break everything. You break everything physically, you break it virtually, you find all the weaknesses ahead of time. You don't wait for problems to find you, you find them first. And if you do that, you go faster. So it turns out that the path to have confidence and reliability and usability and manufacturability is the same path to go faster. Now, who wouldn't want to do that? Who would not want to go 50% faster and have a better product? That's how it should be, and it can be that way. So I have a question for you. If you were able to develop a product 50% faster, would that project be more expensive or less expensive? Even if you got some help, if you finish that project months earlier, uh, you're going to save a lot of money. And um, that's going to be better for your business, uh, you know, your, your market entry into the, um, well, into the market on time, being on time with your products, uh, gaining confidence in your company, etc. So that's my little story, exceptional rum, exceptional levels of reliability, usability, and manufacturability, and you can still go faster. And you might need to change your model. Now we've had this whole shutdown and everyone's had to learn how to adapt. Uh, and there's some lessons we've learned from that with virtual meetings and other things we have been forced out of a conventional path. As we get back to work, we learn some positive lessons too and we can apply those to have our organizations run better. There are some things that work better. Anyways, those are some thoughts that I wanna get you know, back to you on a more regular basis. Uh, let's, see, let's see some growth happen and let's aim for exceptional and, and look at what it takes to really uh, run an exceptional company and run projects in an exceptional way. Because great products make great profits, and that's what we're all after. All right, thank you very much. Talk to you again soon.